It's good to see you again, Risers. I am the Black Renegade Rising. I am simply a maven looking for my haven on the continent. Let's go ahead and delve in. Today we're going to talk about income streams, how to create a business, and how to create income while on the continent. We will also talk about ways in which you can give back to the continent, how you can actually help not just by starting your own business, but help to empower others through financial means. Number one, hire help around your home. It is very common on the continent for individuals or families to have what they call domestic help, what we used to call here in the United States um, in the 60s and 70s domestic help, which means someone will come in, normally a woman, she will clean, do laundry, and usually go to the market, get your groceries, cook up your food, and prepare things like that. You can also, if you want to really stimulate the economy, you can also hire a caregiver for your children, whether it's a nanny if they're home all day, or someone who drives them to and from school and plays with them, takes care of them once they get out of school. Also hire a gardener. You can at least beautify your home and the surroundings. And if you really want to continue to stimulate the economy, you can also hire a personal assistant, someone who can help you by running errands, um, make phone calls for you on your behalf, and take care of other things to lighten your personal load. Also hire a videographer, someone who will actually help with the recordings. Um, maybe they'll even do some of the editing for your videos or for your pictures or for whatever um, social media postings you will be making. Number two, become a digital nomad. Yes, unfortunately at this time, two-thirds of Mzungos and only one-third of melanated individuals within the United States of America can work from home. Unfortunately, those are very real statistics which places melanated individuals at a higher risk of contracting COVID. With that stated, for individuals who may not have a job where they're able to work from home now, what you could do is before going to the continent, Go ahead and work on figuring out how to make your job portable, how to be able to work from home. Um, can you take those phone calls that you have to make? Can you do that from home? Um, what about those emails? Can you answer those while you're on the road? And what about those board meetings? You have to physically be present. These are things that you may want to go ahead and speak with your manager about to see if you can make those changes so that you can begin working from home now. For those of you who do not have that as an option, now is the time to find a second income stream that will eventually be your primary income stream on the continent. And with that stated, some examples are if you are a crafter, you can go on Etsy and begin your business now. Um, once you move to the continent, the only thing you'll be doing is continuing those orders, making or creating your products, and then just ship shipping them out from there. Number three, create tourism opportunities yes whether or not you're creating tourism opportunities for those interested in repatriating to the continent or that particular country or whether or not you're just offering tourism services um, for any and everyone who wants those um, the market is pretty much open there is not a lot of tourism in most countries within the continent therefore the sky is the limit whether or not you're going to offer just transportation tourism services or whether or not you're going to offer like the full board spectrum. The sky is the limit and tourism is a wonderful place to start a business. Number four, creating a company that caters to services for repatriation. And what I mean by that is you may be able to offer services and various products for those repatriating to the continent. Each and every country of course is different and therefore you can cater your services to those individuals moving to that particular country. Another example of products and services that you may be interested in offering are travel adapters. Sometimes people will go ahead and buy items and realize that once they get to the continent, they need travel adapters. You can even offer housing services, whether or not you help them find temporary housing or permanent housing, um, as well as helping individuals figure out how to open banking accounts, as well as getting IDs, helping individuals figure out how to navigate the world of opening their own businesses. These are some of the different services that a company that offers services for repatriation could delve into. Number five, creating your own media empire or your small media company. 
you can cater to individuals who are thinking about repatriating as well as to newcomers who have repatriated to the continent or that particular country. People want information and the best way to get that is from a reliable news source. And if you go ahead and create your own media company, you can help fill that knit, that void. Um, the services can provide anything from the weather to what's happening going on in the pipeline in reference to citizenship for those who are of the African diaspora to other important news items that people would want to know. You can also let people know about rainy season, what to prepare, how to prepare for things. So creating a media company is a great way to provide information for others and also receive a paycheck through advertisements and the likes. Number six, creating an education company or service. There are a lot of discrepancies in the various forms of education that's being offered throughout the continent. And there are a number of, stu of students and families who will be sending their children to Western universities for their education. You can offer services that will help provide and prepare them for that transition to the United States or to Asia or to Europe where they can go get their education. You can also provide education services for younger students as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure there is a niche and a need for those services as well. So dabbling in the education arena is definitely a good place to start because you can make sure that a well-rounded Afrocentric education is provided. Manufacturing needed products. You can go ahead and potentially start up a manufacturing company using one of the many factories that is, that's available. You may want to create a product that is needed in that local economy using the raw materials that are available. You'll do two things. You'll be able to provide a service that is actually needed while using the raw materials. That Another thing to think about is that I'm going to link below a video of a South American couple who has figured out how to taper products. And once those products are used, you can actually bury them in the land or in the ground and they will sprout because they do have seeds in them. And finally, number eight, creating your own niche market, niche industry, niche company. You may want to wait until you get to the continent to create a revenue stream. What you may do is decide to look around, take notes like a lot of people, and think about what is the continent or in particular that country in need of. And then go ahead and create products that way. That way you can fill a void that is needed locally, but it may be a product that can also be exported internationally. And again, this is the Black Renegade Rising. I am simply a maven looking for my haven on the continent. Uh, risers, I hope this was food for thought and that will give you some ideas on how you can go about creating a revenue stream once you get to the continent or a revenue stream that you create before you leave the United States that you can transfer over to the continent with you. Thank you so much for your time and we do have more planned. So again, go ahead and smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your time. Bye -bye.